Hello Gemini, happy Friday to you, happy weekend to you Gemini. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Gemini, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. The universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini, for Gemini's highest good please the universe please show us what's coming up for gemini in their life and how is gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for gemini in their life and how is gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey this one wants to be extra message very important oof so there's a group of people that you have to deal with on a regular basis that you don't really want to deal with because they bring you a lot of drama, chaos, shenanigans. They are into gossip. You don't want to deal with them, but you have to. It's karmic. You, you have karma to balance with this difficult group of chaotic people. So most likely it's at your job or, or maybe even in the family. Um, yeah, this is you trying to figure out how to get away from them but karma is forcing you to stay in that situation to deal with them because you have lessons to learn from them and they have lessons to learn from you so it's a karmic situation that you cannot walk away from when you feel like you can walk away from it that means you're done with balancing karma with this group of people and you'll be able to easily walk away from them so when you have doors closed in front of your face that means it's not balanced karma yet that you have to deal with this group of people longer for a longer amount of time you will know when you're ready to leave yeah when karma is resolved this is a karmic group of people for you and on a soul level before you incarnated into this current lifetime you your soul and their souls agreed to be in these predicaments to learn important lessons so it's true that we learn the most from uh, very difficult challenging situations and relationships of all sorts the more challenging relationships are the more we learn from each other that is so true oh my gosh you are so stressed out this is you you have so much stress from this group of people the way they handle themselves the way they talk to you yeah, the way they treat you you and the way they treat each other. Yeah, you have a lot of drama. Uh, they bring you stress, a lot of stress. I'm sorry you're going through so much, Gemini. Yeah, look, you see? So here it is, justice scales, greatly unbalanced. You're not done with this group of people yet. You see this? You have to learn some kind of lessons, and they have to learn some kind of lessons from you before these justice scales are balanced which means karma is resolved and you can just move on with your life and walk away from them peacefully you see this this is unfinished business between you and this group of people so you have to deal with them longer how much longer will depend on how quickly the the all of you learn lessons from each other that you're supposed to learn oh boy <sighs> I was hoping not to see this, but here it is. Um, your soulmate, my least favorite night of all nights, night of ones. So this is how you view your soulmate based on their behavior towards you. So night of ones, first of all, it's a night. Knights don't know how to offer a solid commitment. Night of ones specifically of all four nights, my least favorite night is night of ones. Night of ones represents someone who is kind of impulsive, someone who doesn't think things through, um, is in and out of people's lives, doesn't communicate effectively, doesn't listen, doesn't express emotions, doesn't commit in a healthy way, doesn't tell you where you stand in their life, what to expect, and so forth and so on. So <clears throat> you are drained by this relationship, more specifically, their behavior towards you, and you are drained by this group of people. Look, look how much stress you have. 
this is you, this stress. The, these 10 ones here uh, represent stress you're going through. It's so heavy that you can't stand up straight. You see this? This is you needing to figure out how not to allow these situations, connections, relationships, people to stress you out. You see this so badly where you take things personally. Yeah, universe, please show us. I'm sorry you're going through so much, Gemini. Some of you are dealing with a soulmate that's a Leo. Also, Taurus popping up here strongly. Universe, please show us. And Sagittarius popping up very strongly as well. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini. How is Gemini currently doing? Yeah, <clears throat> you're waiting patiently to see how to uh, get away from this group of people. For most of you, it's at your job. Yeah. This is you kind of looking at everything objectively, trying to figure out how to deal with these people better, not to allow them to affect you. Yeah, you see this? These are two major arcana life force cards. So these are karmic situations you're going through. You are strong though. Look how strong you are. This is you being very strong, resilient, beautiful. You are very intuitive. So there's something hidden from you, something you're not aware of. Hmm. Oh, there's two cards stuck together. Yeah. So be careful because there's... Okay, so that makes sense now. Why there's two cards and this one is hiding under High Priestess Secrets. Uh, you're not being reimbursed uh, enough for the amount of work you do. You see this? Yeah. You need to ask for more money for the quality of work you produce, for the amount of work you do. You need to ask for more money. Yeah. You deserve a solid raise and a bonus because you are that good. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I don't like this. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like this. No, no, no. Five of Wands became now Five of Swords, which is worse, harsher energy. Be careful because some of these people you work with are gossiping about you, are trying to get you in trouble. Uh, do not get involved in... Uh, gossip if you have to report any wrongdoings any violations do it in writing so you have paper trail don't do it in person do it in writing so they don't change your words you have proof in writing this is now i know why you're so stressed out no this is not good the devil is showing up here no it's and it's looking right at the five of swords this is not yeah you need to be careful you need to be careful Watch your uh, P's and Q's and look over your shoulder. Uh, don't share personal information. Remember your coworkers, your bosses, your managers, your superiors, your associates are just your coworkers. They're not your friends, okay? Listen, because there's such a great level of mismanagement where you work, of people and resources, uh, there's loss of money. You see this? So wherever it is you work, they're losing money because they they have so much drama. They're not organized. Yeah. They're so disorganized. Yeah. You want to let go of this person completely and you want to let go of these people here because you feel uh, you can't uh, handle this kind of stress any longer. <clears throat> Be careful with money because some people that know you well, like family members and and friends, feel they entitled to your money. They feel you're doing better financially than they are. Be careful. Remember, you're not the bank. You're not the loan center. Let people balance their own financial karma. Let them take accountability for their frivolous spending habits. They need to learn their lessons. You cannot fix people's lives for them. No, you cannot fix people's lives for them. They need to fix their own lives to learn their lessons, right? Universe, you can advise them if they ask for your advice. You can give them neutral advice, but people need to fix their own lives. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Otherwise, they will never learn their lessons and they're going to keep repeating the same mistakes, right? You love this person. Yeah, you do. Even though you're highly disappointed in their behavior, you really love this person. Yeah. You're trying not to be affected emotionally, but you are by this disconnection. You love this person a lot. Yeah, you do. 
but they have so much pride. It's hard for them to admit to their mistakes, apologize. They hold on to this tough looking emperor's persona so tightly, but they're not an emperor. They're just a knight of wands. Yeah. So, hmm, let me see what's going on with them. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with this soulmate of Gemini. And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time? Especially emotionally. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini? And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time? Especially emotionally. They love you a lot, but they don't meet you halfway. For the second time, they show up as just a knight, not a king or queen. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this. Here's a serpent showing up. Serpent, a snake in tarot is never a good sign. No. Hmm. Like something is hidden from you on purpose. They realize how much you mean to them. Yeah, communication showing up here. So they know this communication will need to happen. Yeah, they're hoping that this communication will happen between you two. Yeah, so they worried about you rejecting them or not listening to what they have to say. They know you are highly disappointed. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini? They love you a lot, but they don't express it, don't show it. So as far as their behavior is concerned towards you and their communication patterns with you, they are just a knight, not really communicating effectively in and out of your life. But as far as their feelings are concerned for you, they love you deeply, but they don't express it, don't show it, don't verbalize it like they should. For the third time, they're showing up as a knight, knight of swords this time, very guarded. So they did something behind your back that they're not proud of. They regret deeply. You see the snake showing up here. You see this? This person uh, regrets making a mistake, a huge mistake that they've made. They're showing up as a knight again. So they showed up as all four knights, knight of wands. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, and Knight of Pentacles. Only one time they showed up as a king with their feelings, holding love for you, but not expressing it. I think this person needed to lose you to realize your worth, value, how much you mean to them, to address their feelings for you in this relationship. This person is very alluring, attractive. They know how to initially draw people towards them. They just don't know how to uh, hold on to these uh, high vibration people you see they can be very impulsive in decision making not uh, think things through um, they kind of in and out of people's lives um, attractive charming alluring charismatic person but they don't know how to um, act maturely in relationships they kind of come and go as they please yeah Look how much respect they have for you. They view you as my favorite queen of all queens, queen of pentacles with your third eye wide open. So they know that they need to fess up and tell you the truth because they view you as very wise, intuitive, perceptive, and um, discerning. They know that if uh, they don't tell you the truth about something that they're not proud of, uh, you're going to find out eventually. Yeah. Look how scared they are that this is it, that they lost you. Look how much respect they have for you. You see this? You're not chasing them. They have so much respect for you. They view you as an empress again. Empress, high vibration. This person realizes finally your worth value. They do love you. They do. But they need to show that love, right? Universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini. Look, they have a lot of pride. They can be ego-driven. It's hard for them to apologize admit to their mistakes especially publicly oh new soulmate popping up in your life king of wands i love king of wands energy king of action this person is worried that you're going to be with somebody else yeah new love dawning for you gemini this person loves you a lot but they need to show that love express it verbalize it commit in a healthy way See, this is you meeting somebody new through work 
or business or whether it's through their work or business or your work or business, new person popping up in your life. This person here is spying on you to see what you're doing, trying to figure you out before they approach you, but they just need to approach you. Yeah, Gemini, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that just showed up as King of Wands. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the King of Wands energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Gemini, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.